Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to OWN. At the stroke of noon, the Oprah Winfrey Network went on the air, and the queen of talk became a network mogul. Bet on yourself first. It's a giant bet. Winfrey and the Discovery Channel have reportedly invested $189 million in the 24-7 lifestyle cable channel, featuring Oprah-branded stars like Dr. Phil, Rachel Ray, and Dr. Oz. And I watch all their shows anyway, so just to have it on one channel is great. Viewers can also expect a range of reality shows with the likes of country music star Shania Twain and the former Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. I'm extremely damaged and a biography show called Masterclass. And that's the foundation of everything great. Then there's Oprah herself. Her showcase program will take cameras behind the scenes of the last season of her 25-year-old daytime talk show. Well, I'm excited. Still, she's committed to being on air herself only two or three times a week. Will people tune in and watch even if Oprah's not there. That's really the wild card. Full programs begin Monday, but the network schedule is in flux. Despite the uncertainty, sponsors like Procter & Gamble and Kohl's are counting on Winfrey's Midas Touch. If anybody can pull this off, which has never been done before uh, by someone coming from where she's come from, uh, it's Oprah. One number working against Winfrey is 50, the average age of her viewers. Advertisers prefer a younger demographic, but she brings a committed audience to the venture. She really speaks to what people want to see and she's got an interesting way of taking audiences even where they might not know they want to go. With her name and legacy on the line, Winfrey acknowledges the channel is a work in progress. 